Howdy y'all and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved with Ozark Mountain. I've got snakes. I've got snakes. I've been, I've just been, yeah, snakes. Snakes and snakes and more snakes and I just, that's seven of them now. I think that's a good number. So far I've gotten two Titan Bow eggs. One of them's in the house. And the house has changed. Let me show you guys this. I got my little porch here. It's more of like a little dino storage area place. I don't know. But I've been doing that. I've been taming. I tamed a few Rexes, like low levels. I think I got a 55. I tamed a 55, which is like a hundred and something now, because it took him like around and leveled him up and just killed a bunch of stuff. It wasn't that big of a deal. I think it's this guy. Yeah, 115 now. We got level. Let's go with. Help. Okay. Um, he he pretty much knocks everything. Like he pretty much just kills everything. I mean, it's it's pretty crazy for as low level as he is. But I haven't fought anything super big. But I can't ever find anything super big. Like the most I found, I think, was a level 15 Carno, like Alpha Carno. But are you both getting the buff. You're not getting the buff. We need to maybe move the Over Raptor. A little bit this way. Are you getting the buff now? You're n Why are you not getting the buff? You're not that far away. We really need Rex eggs. We need Rex eggs and Carno eggs. Alright, so you're getting the buff now. You're all getting the buff. Alright, so we've got a bunch of Carno eggs. So we should be fine on that aspect. We should be able to start taming, taming trikes pretty soon. Um, and then after trikes, I think we move into sarcos or something like that. Um, the first thing I want to do today, though, is I want to test. I want to test this out. Alright, so according to... Alright, so let's do this. Titan boa egg, hatchable. Use it to hatch a titan boa where it might be aggressive. I kind of wonder... If it's going to be like normal eggs? Oh wait, there's two of them. Why is it, did it just craft two of them? It did, it just crafted two of them. Okay. Let's just... Um, I think I've got my Trank gun. Let's use the Trank gun, that way we can just pop it a whole bunch of times if we really need to. And then I need darts. I need Trank darts. Let's make, let's see if we can make a hundred of those. We can make 33. Huh. What would it be out of? Tranquilizer? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, it just takes a lot of Trank, so... We just... We need a lot more Trank, I guess. Alright, we're gonna test this out. We're gonna test it down here away from base, though. I'm tired of, like, them getting aggroed or whatever. What's going on, buddy? Little level 35? I don't need it. All right, so let's drop, let's just drop it right here and see what happens. We got to incubate or what's it got to do? There's no incubate. Maybe I don't know what to do with it. Be where it might be aggressive. Well, if it doesn't need to incubate, I would assume you just use it. Consume? Oh, I hate to do that. That's a waste of a Titan Bow egg. Hmm. Let's just try it, see what happens. Oh, yep. Is he out? Is he passed out? What oh, is passed out? Um, so, well, what would I need to tame this? I don't even know. Should've got prime meat, I guess. Uh, do I have prime meat anywhere? Raw prime meat, come on. Oh, wait, no, I've got, uh, I've got mutton in the fridge. Got about 20 of those. 
That should do it. R wait, regular Titan bows team up with eggs. Let's grab some eggs too. Might want eggs. Um, so let's do that, and then got a couple of fertilized eggs. I've got that. Oh no, I don't have any fertilized eggs. We'll just see if the hat works. It should, it should just be something simple. I don't think it said in the mod description what happens. Wild female titan boa. Do you eat this? You are eating that. Oh. Okay, so it just eats the mutton. Let's go grab, um, I've got, like the normal, I've got the stuff. Where's where did I put it? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's tamed. Okay. Um, there's a costume. Lowers the weight of resources by 50%. Is that how it works? Maybe. And then a saddle. Um. I'm invisible. I'm not, a, I'm not invisible. Am I in the little thing? That's so weird. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that is super cool. What level are you? 14. Can I go in the house? I can. This is weird. It's almost like I'm a snake. It looks different though. It doesn't have like the hair on its head, you know? It's the same size though. Alright, so I tested it to see if this Titan Boa egg would actually, this other one would use, um, Ooh. This is a higher level, for sure. I wonder if the level is, like, random? Or if it has something to do with, like, the level of the one that dropped it? I don't really, I don't know who dropped this egg, though. The thing. I have no idea which Titan Bull actually dropped that egg. This one is a level 14. I wish I would have paid attention to where the egg came from. I think the one... One of the eggs came from... This one, maybe? I don't know, this one's a level 14. So, if they're comparative to the level... That's a 14, and this is a 50. This one... I don't know, man. I might have to test it. And like, I guess see, like what happens, like, like get an egg where I know what dino, which one it comes from, which snake it comes from, and then, um, and then like hatch it, like turn it into a snake and hatch it, and then see, because if that's the case, then we need to try to get a uh, super high level. I would like to get like a, that'd be awesome if we could find a 150 Titan Boa. But I think you need like Giga Eggs or something like that to like perfect tame a Titan Boa, or at least as close as you can get. But if we could, you know, if we could tame a Titan Boa, like a 150 Titan Boa with Giga Eggs, and then get one of these, I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's go take, let's go, uh, let's go take the craft this stuff. You guys can a actually lot. see. Is it tamed? It is tamed. Alright. So let's put this in here and this in here. This actually worked. Twelve and a half. Six and four. Oh, it does. Okay. So sweet. So basically, do this. Point six. Point six. Alright. So probably just like meat and stuff. What about this dodo? How much damage are we doing? 124. So not much at all. I wonder if we're doing tour four damage though. I 
don't know how we're going to get levels on this guy. Um, I guess we could go attack something and see. We need to be able to attack something that's not just going to die right away, I guess. And then see if we're doing torpor damage and how much. Let's go see if I can find... Oh, here's a Packy. What level are you? 15? Oh, I hate to attack it because it's probably not going to die right away. How does this work if I want to... Oh, so I'm kind of like sitting up there. You just can't really see me. Can I get out underneath the door? I know there's a hole under one of these doors. Can I just crawl under the door? Stamina is pretty good, it seems like. What about this one? So there was no torpor damage at all. What level are you? 125? He attacks pretty fast. So let's go ahead and pump melee. Oh, this one's got the hair on his head. It's weird, man. I don't know what's up with that. Why would, like, one would have it and one wouldn't? Can we get into it with a bunch of billows? Come on, Dillos. Need XP. Ooh, what level are you? I need a bunch of you. Oh, it's a male. I don't need a male. Ooh, maybe I do need a male. What about you, Don? Come on. Come on, True Don. Only one level? That's ridiculous. We're gonna attack this turtle too. Level 15 Carbonimus. What's your weight at? Something terrible? 230 weight, man. That's uh that's not very good at all. 144 melee. Come on, get it, get it. He's only doing four damage though, that's pretty cool. Is there armor on this thing? Ooh, that got 25 armor, okay. That's pretty good. Let's go get something else. Leave that Ovi Raptor. Maybe I'll tame him later. I need a trike though, I don't know if I want to kill this. Level 25 male? We'll go for it. We'll go for it. Oh, it's actually doing pretty good. Level 20. But this Diplo? You want some Diplo? Ah, crap. I'm gonna have to get above him. That way his knockback doesn't really do anything. 154 damage. 154. No, no torpor. That's ridiculous. Why would they make it so there's no torpor? I mean, it's a snake. It's supposed to do torpor damage, right? That's weird, man, that they would make it have no torpor. I don't know. It, I get it. It's a mod. Ooh, what about a Carno? Let's see if we can take... All the compies. Alright. I don't actually have any compies. Maybe I'll try to get some sometime. And we're back, y'all. How's it going? I have been doing all sorts of stuff. Tons and tons and tons and tons of crafting. And I think I might have, you know, the general amount of stuff that we might need to do what we want to do. We've got these. How much weight is that? Not not very much. We'll just take all of it. Alright, so basically I've laid down the foundation. At least what I think we'll do. And it was kind of tricky just because the terrain is not really the best. It's not that flat. 
Now this is perfectly square with that building. I kind of took foundations and brought them over here, um, run them over, run them across, so it's perfectly square with that building exactly lined up. The only difference is this, because of the terrain, I end up raising it half a foundation high. Which, if you don't know how to do that, you basically take a railing, uh, like a blah blah blah, a, uh, oh, a stone railing or whatever, put it down, turn it into a wall, put a ceiling on top of it, sticking out, and then put a foundation on the bottom of it, and then basically destroy everything else but that foundation, and then run off that foundation. So, Basically, it is 13 long and about, I think it's like 9 wide. That's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 wide, and this little bit up front here is about 5 by 5, I think, or 5 by 6. 1, 2, 3, something, something. All right. So basically, I've got the ramps. I'm not putting a door. Because a behemoth gate, I really wish you, like, there were different gates. Because, like, the regular gate is too wide. And then the behemoth weight gate is seven wide. Now I get that there are certain dinos that don't fit, but you know I wish S plus would come out with gates that were variable. You know, like you could make them three wide or four wide or five wide or six wide or whatever. You know, and then of course the behemoth gate is seven wide. You know, and then like you could make them any size you want, but you would obviously be limited as to what dinos would fit through it. So like maybe if you had like this is four wide. You could put a four wide gate and then maybe have like Rexes can't fit through but a mammoth can or something like that. Maybe you can make it four wide but then like really tall. Like as tall as Behemoth Gate. Because like obviously a mammoth, even a Rex could probably walk through a four four wide foundation area. But anyway, we'll get we'll get on with the building and the talking and the stuff. And then I'm not entirely sure like exactly what we're gonna do here I haven't like gone all decorative I mean I've, I've made some doorways you know this would be easier if I do it like this maybe but uh, I've made some doorways so we can kinda make the uh, like the double door windows or whatever that you you'd usually put in these buildings I thought about making wooden walls but like the stone walls would be better because we do still have some things that spawn in. And like this right here is going to at least, it's going to definitely make it to where we can put like a lot of the dinos in here, like the smaller ones, put them on passive, and then they'll be safe. And like we could put like a couple of raptors or something like that, or a few raptors at the door, and then everything inside this building will be um, locked up. All right, so this is one, two, three, four, five wide. So we'll probably do it to where, like, there'll be two windows. So, like, those two will be windows. And then maybe we'll do, like, a few windows on this side. So then we'll do two there. And it's 13 long. So if I do this and this, and then maybe skip one there. And then do that. I kind of, I really like to make things symmetrical, so I'd really like to, alright, so that, that'll work right there. Alright, so then we'll have that many windows, four windows on that side, and then this side was just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so nine. So we definitely don't want windows in the corners, so then we'll put windows... Let's see, what is it over there? We'll line those up. And then, what if we put it every other one? That'll work, perfect. And then on this side, since it's kind of a weird number, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so nine again. So we'll do the same pattern. I don't remember how many doors I made, but I made a whole bunch of window or a bunch of walls. All right, so let's see, and then here, what was it? Five, one, two, three, four, five. So we definitely want that there. And we want this here. And then we'll just put the two, like so. Let's go in and get our doors. And we'll put them up and then put walls on top of them so they definitely look like windows. Um, how many walls did I make? I didn't make that many. I didn't make as many as I thought, I guess. Alright, so I've got my doors. 
And then I have also made one egg collector. So I'm kind of trying to figure out... I never really figured out what the radius was, so I think I'm going to do some testing and figure out um, like how what the distance is that those will actually go. Did I make it too many windows? I don't know. Like what the rate, like what the pickup radius is, basically. Like what what I'll probably do is since it's S plus and I can pick it up, it's no big deal. Um, I'll probably just put it down, like down over here somewhere. You know, like I'll set it here on this foundation, and then I'll go this way so many foundations and throw an egg down and see if it picks it up. And uh, I'll just basically keep doing that until it finally doesn't pick it up. And then we'll basically know exactly what the radius is. And I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume that it's circular. So like it picks everything up in a certain circle. And like this here, I'm not super sure. It may not be that fancy. For now, it's just going to kind of look like this. I mean, it is just a, a building to store dinos in, but probably eventually um, we'll probably expand it and we'll build another one. And I would like to have a big one just to like house a lot, like have several of them that house different dinos, different kinds of dinos. You know, like we'll have like mammals in one and reptiles in another one or whatever. Um, and then like scorpions and stuff in another one. But for now, this one's just going to house like as many as we can have. Which, I'm going to think of it. This is four wide, so I could actually put two stone gates there. And that would be, that would actually work. I could do that. And then I could just close it up since it's four wide. I didn't even think about that. But I'm going to do a little bit more building. And then I will bring you guys back. Probably when I start testing the egg collector. And then I made a whole bunch of wooden ceilings. So we could maybe make some different floors and that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, hang in there guys, and I, you'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I've got to show you guys this. I said all that about the gate and being able to make it different sizes. And then I looked for gates, to build gates, and there is an S-plus dynamic gateway structure. Fully adjustable size and material. Crafting is, crafting is finalized after placement. Material cost is determined by size of gateway. So, yeah. Anyway, crafted one, and we're going to see how it goes. All right, so it says to press G. So we got four wide. And then, is it not snappable? Is it not snap? Maybe it snaps after I find it, maybe? Um, let's see, so height is F. How high do I want to make it? I don't even know. Maybe, that's six high, so maybe, Seven? No, let's go. Let's go five high, I guess. I can always rebuild it. I can always build another one if it doesn't seem like it's working. And then H. Stone. It doesn't snap though, I don't think. No, it doesn't. It doesn't snap. How do I? Let's just try placing it, and then see what happens. Alright, so there's that. Maybe you have to build the gate? E is finished crafting. Crafting requirements. 400 stone, 200 wood, 100 thatch. So wait, 400, 200, 100. Can... do I have that much? 400 stone... Um, I don't think I have wood. I think I actually ran out of wood, so I'm going to have to run out. Yeah, I did. I'm going to have to run out and get some more wood. I only need 200, though, right? Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting, man. Let's run out on the beast and grab a little bit of wood. Just so we can finish up the gate. That's weird, man. Hopefully, after it's built then you can actually pick it up and then replace it and it'll be snappable at that point. Ooh, I didn't even know this was here. Didn't even have a clue that that was even there. I've, I've been seeing a lot of the Explorer notes, but I'm also saving a lot of them. We'll actually grab like probably a couple thousand or something while we're out here. Um, 
I only got one level off that box. I was actually fairly upset, I think, yesterday. Not really upset, upset, but um, I had taken that, that Rex out to get some levels on it just to have a little bit of fun and gather some materials, some meat, and some hides and stuff. And uh, I ended up killing a 150 mammoth, and I was like, I was sitting there hitting it. It's been in a, it was in a fight with uh, some Carnos and some stuff, and uh, I, I ran up to it and started hitting it, and as I was hitting it, I was like, man, this thing's taking a lot of damage, you know. Like, I'll bet it's high high level, and then as soon as it dies, it says, you know, Mammoth, whatever, 150, and I was like, oh, I hate myself right now. Um, let's pump an 8. Uh, hey, oh, wait. Alright, so we got enough wood and thatch on this guy. And then I should have tons of stones to the house. This is, like, super cool, man. I had no idea that they'd even made this. Obviously, because I was like, wow, I wish they'd make a gate like this, and blah, 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 blah. Alright, can I just deposit... I probably could only deposit all of it if I have it. So it needs 400 stone. So let's go ahead and pull 400 stone. Should have tons and tons of it. 400. And I should be overburdened. The deposit. And then... What is it? What can I do? Pillar thickness? What does that mean? Oh, current thickness is one? Oh, you can make it bigger. That's pretty cool, man. I don't really want it super big, but... Can I pick it up, though? I can't pick it up. What if I put... Alright, so it says snap assist, but that's... Oh, crap. Um... If I shoot it with the gun, nothing happens. Oh, man, this is... Maybe I've got to demolish it? Because it's definitely not snapped to anything. And it's solid. I don't know what to do. I don't want to do pillar thickness. Alright, so... Oh, the, it did say that if you did... Uh, Alright, so I need... I need to get a wood ladder now. Um, so I can get it squared up. It says snap assist, but I don't... I don't know. Maybe that's like once it is, um, it's done or whatever. I don't, I don't know, man. This is like totally new. All right, give me my ladder. And then I need to make a, a gate for it. All right, so let's pull that. That, is, this is like super cool. I don't know, like, I know I was talking about it and I was like, oh, I should probably drop a little bit of wood, shouldn't I? I'm a little bit faster. Right, let's just drop half that, half that. There we go. All right, so got our speed back. Let's see what the what's, what's up with this gate. All right, so put our ladder down. Cause it's weird that it like it doesn't snap somehow to the stuff. Oh wait, what did I do? Oh, I just deconstructed it, so now I don't have it. Wait, what? Why am I not pulling the resources? Maybe I need to be closer? Why? You're not even telling me you can't pull it. That's odd. Hmm. Hold on now. Wait, there's nothing, not a bunch of, no, there's not a bunch of stuff in my inventory. Okay, that's weird. 
Huh. Why will they not let me do it? Am I gonna have to actually gather this stuff by hand? Oh, I'm missing silica pearls. I don't... Mmm. Crap. I don't have any more silica pearls. I must be completely out. Um, alright, let me run and get some silica pearls and stuff, and then I, I guess I'll bring you guys back later. But I'm done, like, messing around, I suppose. Alright, so we are running electricity. Look at this. I got the gate put up, and apparently you have to you have to put it down. Like, I put it down using the ladder, all that stuff, centered it up. Um, it looks really good. Like, you can see, like, the center of the doorway is pretty much, like, right on the line or whatever. And then you can adjust the thickness of the pillar, and then the thickness of the door, and the height, and the width, and everything. It's so cool. And then, but if you notice, there's no sound. Like, it's not that I have my volume turned down or nothing. I mean, it's... You can hear that. There's no sound of the door. There's no that... Like, as it opens. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. Like, the sound is a little bit off most of the time, but... I mean, realistically, it's, yeah, you know, I don't know. But I'm running electricity. I made a whole bunch of these things, and I don't know. I've still got to test to see where the, uh, where the thing is going to go, I guess. Let's see, I made a, that thing. Maybe I need a, another vertical, probably. I probably need another vertical. And not, it's not like it matters. The whole thing's going to be hidden anyway. You're never going to be able to see it. But it's the thought that counts. Right? It's the thought that counts. We'll make another one of these and another one of those. I made tons and tons of the straight ones, but then the verticals and the cross sections and stuff, I, just, I basically just made as many as I thought I would need. So... Man, that kind of bugs me. There's no sound. It's weird. It just, it's off a little bit. But, let's see. So this one, we'll put it right there. I'd almost like it to be next to that pillar. But I don't think there's a way to do that. Let me check. Let's just pick this up and pick this up. And then pick this up. If I put a cross section, would it put it in the pillar? That would look kind of neat. Nobody will put it on the face of the pillar. That's awesome. I think I like that. And then if we put this here and this here, then it's like we have a, a plug-in that I didn't make. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like we have one of these plug-ins in here right on that post. I might be prepared one of these days to do, you know all the stuff I need to do. And I've had the egg collector, and I have at least one egg in my inventory. Oh, there's another egg. Give me the egg. Oh, there's two eggs. It's so weird when it's like sits in the, like inside of them like that. It's odd. Because I think about like right here is probably the best place to uh, put it. So I need... Let me see. I don't remember how this thing places. Let's go and put the ladder down there. Okay, so it places kind of like that, and it's, oh, it's slightly too tall for this. That's stupid. Um, it makes me want to, like, just get rid of one of those floors. I might do that, because I really want it on this corner. Let's just pick that up, and then I'll put it, like, right here. Which is going to be tough, isn't it? Because it's not, it's going to want to like intersect the ceiling, isn't it? Is it not? At what point is it just going to drop down? That's not. So, let me think. Hold on. Let's pick this up and this up. And then pull out our gun and actually do it the fast way. So we can actually place this. So it needs to be facing this direction. A little bit back. That'll work. Is it foggy? It looks foggy almost. 
I don't have the foggiest idea. Alright, if I put it kind of in the pillar, kind of like that, like it's kind of wrapping around the pillar, that looks kind of neat. I think that'll work. It's not in the pillar, but it's like right kind of wrapped around it, you know? Maybe out a little bit. Like so. Alright, so. Spring collection on. Pick up this ladder. This is scientific experiment. Station. It looks like it's foggy. I don't like it. Maybe, eh, it made it a little clearer. Okay, so basically here's this. And then we're going to drop an egg. Alright, so it's pretty much right at the end of this foundation. So one, two, three, whoop. Too fast. One, two, three, four, five. So if I drop it right here at a little over five foundations away, will it pick it up? It did pick it up. Alright, so how far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So like right out the end of eight pillars. Or eight foundations, I mean. It will not pick it up right there. What if I drop it like seven foundations away? It does not pick it up. That is interesting. So six foundations. And drop. Nothing? Didn't it pick it up like right here? It, it, whoop. Oh, it picked up both of them. Oh, it was just, it was a little bit delayed. Let's throw it back against the wall here and see if it'll pick it up. Since I, apparently I picked it up too early. Maybe it scans? And like, it'll, it'll just take a little while to scan out? Because I really want to see it pick it up from that distance. If it won't, then... I don't know. I was hoping we could have it set up to where it would pick up the whole building. I can always move it, though. So if I moved it one foundation forward, would that work? If it was there. Will you work? Is it going to pick it up? Okay, so picked up that. So we're missing... We're about two foundations away. Hmm. So the front of it actually needs to be about here. That's kind of a bummer, man. I don't want another one. Like, I don't want, like, two of them in this building. That just seems a little bit much. So let's put the ladder back down. Here. Alright, we'll get this down, man. We'll get it down. Alright, so let's put the back of it next to the pillar. So let's see, the front of it was there. Right? Where was it? There. So I actually need the front of it, like, out there? I don't want to do that, though. That'd be terrible. I don't know. I, I, d I don't know. Hmm... I mean, if I put it right there, it would probably pick up the entire building, is the thing. Like, if I kind of line the front of it with that foundation. Let's just test it. We might just have to deal with it being right there. Alright, so we know it'll pick it up against that wall. What if it'll, what if it's dropped in this corner? Like, that's right in the corner. Are you going to pick it up, or is that too far? It might be too far. Definitely pick that one up, like, super fast. Um, let's see. So if it's going to be in the middle of the room, it might as well just be in the middle of the room. Do you pick up in that corner? No? Nothing? Alright, so what about... So there, I'm sure it'll pick up in this corner over here. We need to test all this stuff. I think all the corners are, like, right out of its distance, man. 
Alright, so if I drop it right here, it should pick it up. Maybe. Oh, it did. Okay. So basically, it's like perfectly centered, pretty much. So we can't move it. We just have to make sure that dinos in the corners are kind of set up to where, like, where their egg will be laid no farther than that. And then we're just going to have to deal with it being, like, right in the middle of the floor. And I guess another good test is will it pick up one that's, like, up here on a second level? If it's within the distance. It did. Okay, great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Put our ceilings back. I think this right here, like, we've got the building set up, right? And we've got this little cove and then this big area. So all the bigger dinos will go out here and all the smaller dinos will go kind of under here or up there. And then all we got to do is just come in the door and then collect our eggs out of here. And then we'll be set. Completely set, man. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, bring all the dinos in. I'm going to set them all up all that stuff and then I'll bring you guys back we'll show it and we'll see how it all looks and I'm back alright so I figured I'd bring you guys back just to see show you kinda what's going on right now show you a little bit of the progress you probably won't get to see me finish it but that's okay that place right? I don't know, man. There's like, there's like so much weird snapping that happens on these things. So much weird snapping. Like, and then, like, it seems like I've, I've got this crazy, like, I've got a plan. Crap. I've got a plan for how to do this, but that doesn't mean it's, I'm, that doesn't mean I'm going to be able to. Honestly. Um, we're gonna let that craft up. I'll go show you some stuff while I finish crafting all these. I'm crafting a hundred and we'll see if that works. But my plan is I'm gonna use those special resizable gates and I'm gonna put a gate on this side that's like three by three I think. I don't know what all would fit through that but we'll just have to see. Um, I don't know if Quetzals would or not. I haven't got stairs to come up here yet but eventually I will. And then I'll have to check. I might have to put an extra egg collector up here in the top. Um, but that's kind of like a future thing because we don't have we only got like three flyers right now We got three pteranodons But I'll go ahead and show you this I have put doors on all the doorways Just because I don't want stuff getting in here and then if it does happen to get in here all the uh, Oh all the demorphodons are on neutral everything else is on passive and I've disabled their um group whistle stuff so like I can whistle all I want to like I can whistle neutral and it doesn't do anything okay no dino in here except for the demorphodons and this snake will actually listen to it oh that says naval wondering to mate I didn't even notice that can I do that with all of them I can I can breed all the snakes oh, oh that one doesn't say it maybe it's just the writable ones oh okay so that one's a female is this one a male? It is. Okay. But I think I'll, I'll still get eggs out of these ones, right? But maybe, like, I should take all the eggs and turn them into, like, these. And then maybe hatch a bunch of females, hopefully. Because that would be awesome. Because I've been getting quite a few eggs out of her. I think she's been my mass egg producer at the moment. I've, only, I've got, like, three or four. But um, so far, it looks pretty good. I've got all the dinos lined up. Um, some of them are inaccessible, like that scorpion in the back over there. But for the most part, I can get to like pretty much all of them, which you don't really need to. <laughs> We've got the egg collector, so got my Carnos, my Rexes. The ceiling is like I didn't really plan it out. I put the Rexes in here, and then I had to actually look to see if the ceiling was high enough. And I actually made it somehow miraculously. The ceiling is just high enough for the Rexes to stand in here, and they're like their heads not to touch. Um, every dino I've kind of set it up to where they're hopefully not touching the wall. I think the only thing that's sticking out is one of these snakes. Like that blue snake or whatever over there right next to that door. It's kind of going through the door. But these snakes were like super duper hard to get set up. They were like the hardest to get them to set like right the way they are, you know. 
But then I got my raptors and my parasaurs, and I can't really walk through here very well, but I'm probably not going to come up here very often anyway. But so far, it's so good. Uh, we might have to, we'll probably end up building another barn at some point so that we can put more and more dinos in. And then I need to get my thing, but look at this. We've already got a bunch of eggs coming in. You know, 10 raptor eggs, pteranodon eggs, 5 titan bow eggs. That's good stuff, man. That's just, that's, I'm excited. I'm, I'm super excited at the moment. I do need to get, um, I need to put my stairwell in. Give me a circular stair staircase. I don't know where I'm going to put it, though, is the thing. I want to do circular because it take, it'll take up less room, is my thing. But the idea is I'm going to have a 3x3 three three gate over here and maybe like a 2x over here or something, like a 2x2 two two or a 3x2 gate. Probably be 1, 2... Yeah, like a 3x2 gate, which isn't super big, but I don't know. This right, this, like, this part here might actually extend all the way out. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do it because I don't have foundation support down there, but we'll just have to see. Um, it'll, it'll hopefully turn out really well. Because I don't know how I'd put it out if it didn't have foundation support. Maybe I could get away with putting, like, a couple of pillars over here, perhaps. I don't know, I'll have to do some testing, I guess. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It has been a good day. We've gotten lots and lots of stuff done. Let me look. Let me look at you here. Let me look at you. Be all serious and stuff. But hopefully you had a good day. Come back to me next time. This is the Ozark Mountain signing off. Later, y'all.